Inside Parliament with Montague. With support from the Houses of Parliament. Welcome back to my manor. Today we're in Westminster Hall, no less. It's the oldest building on the parliamentary estate. Been here right in the middle of things for almost a thousand years. And these old stones tell us gargoyles some of the things they've seen. That's what makes us gargoyles experts at what's what round here, like when the hall itself was built. There's William II down there inspecting the works. They've done a great job. The stone walls are two metres thick. The windows are big and high, with a checkerboard pattern made of light and dark stones. And just look at all the lovely tapestries hung against the new paint. Just magnificent. William II had the old built in 1097. That's over 900 years ago to where you are. But why, you might ask? Well, to impress the heck out of everyone and make sure they knew who was in charge. <laughs> His dad won the Battle of Hastings, you know. Powerful lot. He's shown all the noblemen how grand this all is. Luckily for them, they're looking impressed. They know which side their bread is butted on for sure. At 73 metres by 20 metres, it's about the size of six tennis courts. And I tell you, it isn't big by accident. <laughs> the King's just said that it wasn't half large enough. It is a mere bedchamber compared to what I have in mind. They think it's a joke. It's the largest hall in England, and for the moment, in Europe. The greatest mystery about the hall is the form of its original roof. No one really knows how it was able to hold itself up. In the 11th century, carpentry was pretty basic and nothing like it had ever been seen before. So how on earth did they do it? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> of course, I could tell you how it was done, but you see, a gargoyle's got to have a few secrets. For centuries, this hall was used for all manner of grand occasions, coronations, funerals, and it was even a court of law. Much of that important business took place at the king's table, which was a symbol of the monarch's power. A few pieces of the table have made it into the 21st century, although they were very nearly lost forever. They were only found when some stone steps were excavated. The grand roof you see today isn't the mysterious original, but it's the same one that's been there since the 1400s. Pretty impressive age for any roof. If you look closely, you'll see angels carved into the supports. <sighs> it's nice to look at those angels, but they don't want out to do with us gargoyles. The roof did get a bit of a makeover in the 1740s. They wanted to swap the expensive lead for slate, but when they took off the lead, they saw huge amounts of rot, including a lot thanks to Death Watch beetles. Ooh, that caused no end of upset at the time. Ended up costing them an arm and a leg to set it right, and no mistake. Old buildings like these do need a lot of looking after, though, and over the next 100 years, there was work here and there on the walls and the floors. But they just had no idea the hall's biggest challenges were about to come. The first was in 1834. An enormous fire swept through the parliamentary estate, leaving virtually no part unscathed. What it was, there were two underfloor stores used to get rid of the exchequer's stockpile of tally sticks. They'd only gone and ignited panel in the Lord's chamber. The whole place went up like a bonfire. They all had a stroke of luck. The Prime Minister said the hall should be saved before other parts of the building. So the hoses were turned on the hall and much were saved. Although we gargoyles were covered in soot for decades after. Made a sneeze and wheeze. There was then only a hundred years or so of peace before another tragedy hit us during the blitz of the Second World War. 1941 was a terrible year. The German Air Force dropped bombs all over London. Thousands were killed and many more lost their homes. Bombs fell on Parliament too. And things got hot for us gargoyles as Westminster Hall was set ablaze, along with the House of Commons. Thanks to Walter Elliot, he used to be an MP and lived close by, the hall was again saved as he told the fire services to turn their hoses on the hall, although the expense of the old House of Commons chamber, which was reduced to rubble. Such a sorry sight. But today in the 21st century, Westminster Hall stands sound and proud as ever. 
It's used for special ceremonies and exhibitions, and stands as a reminder of Parliament's history. You can even visit the hall yourself and take a tour. Talking of which, I'd better make myself scarce. I can see another party of visitors coming now, but come back soon, won't you? There's tons more to discover inside Parliament. And remember to check out my chippings on the Fun Kids website. Well, I am made from stone and not great with one of those keyboardy things. Inside Parliament with Montague the Gargoyle. With support from the Houses of Parliament. Find out more about the Houses of Parliament online on the Fun Kids website. www.funkidslive.com